Hello and good evening YouTube and welcome back to Good News, the only news show that's less biased than Rachel Maddow. I of course am Kamikaze Games, the only host that's less biased than Rachel Maddow. And boy howdy do we have quite the day of in-depth analysis ahead. Why don't we get started? Manta Benedetto will drive for Wood Brothers in 2020 as Paul Menard steps away. I like how this was announced, just like, weren't expecting that, were ya? And I guess no. No, I wasn't. When Paul let us know he was going to step away from Cup, our first question was, of course, who should we get? Team co-owner Eddie Wood said. First thing out of Paul's mouth was get Matt. So we did. Are you sure Paul wasn't talking about Matt Kenseth? Because I think Kenseth has more wins this year. Can you imagine, like, if Paul meant Kenseth and he walks into the press conference expecting to see old Matt, Matthew Kenseth sitting there across the stage and he just sees the better down and he's like, bruh, that's not what I meant. Menard has one victory in 461 starts in the Cup Series. I don't mean to be crass, but it's not very good, is it? It's been really tough. I am flaccid. I started watching NASCAR in 2007. That's when I followed Paul. Every year of my NASCAR existence has revolved around one driver. I am heartbroken, but I understand there are better things on the horizon. I followed Mark on Twitter since, like, back when he was upset Elliot, and, like, I totally get this. Like, I feel this. Deep within my soul. 286 likes, man. Wow. Menard is a cool guy, but he's not really a good driver. Be rated at best. I'm sorry that you rooted for a loser. Jesus Christ, dude. You see people, you see like the NASCAR Twitter people always saying like, NASCAR Twitter is so bad. And it's like, nah. But then you read through posts like this and it's like, yeah, I kind of get it. I understand as a Jeff Gordon fan. No, you don't. Actually, false. Marshawn Lynch to drive pace car at Las Vegas. Boy howdy, they are pulling out all the stops this season, aren't they? Interesting that this news would come out the week that Menard announces his retirement. Just like Marshawn Lynch announced his retirement that one time. This actually has nothing to do <laughs> with this article, but this reminds me of the Super Bowl with the fucking Seahawks and the Patriots. And like every commercial break, we got this local ad that was like, oh, you support local businesses. And then like every single time that commercial came on, there was a guy in the background of that commercial that goes, beast mode engage, like super I'm acting style. You know, he's just sitting there like, beast mode engage. And it's like, stop, you're fucking boomers. If that wasn't enough, the Budweiser Clydesdales will make a special appearance during pre-race ceremonies. I'm done. Nope. Nope. I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I'm scheduled to work for the next three days, but I can't. I, I have to go see the Budweiser Clydesdales. Screw this shit. I'm out. Stephen Light overcoming depression looking for redemption. I didn't get to watch the Bush series back in like 2007 because I really didn't get to watch much back in 2007 due to the fact that we had terrible TV providers. That and I didn't have much access to the internet so I couldn't actually figure out what times the Bush races were on. It's just like, it, 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 it was a stars aligning type of situation where if I actually got to see a Bush series or truck race, God forbid a truck race. I didn't even think that, I didn't even know that series existed apart from like the video games. I got to a point where I didn't even want to go to the track anymore. Like recently told Front Stretch, I could barely watch it on TV because you see all of these kids come in with money and some of them weren't honestly that good, but they've got the money, that's all that matters, and they get to drive. Steven, would you like to call into the show one of these days? We could get, we could get all sorts of clicks out of this. A guy like myself, JJ Yaley or Brad Coleman 
guys like that came in and proved what we can do in the car. J.J. Yaley. You lost me, Steven. You had me, and then you didn't have me. Rock Bottom was working at a dealership. Dodge Jeep Ram in Cornelius, North Carolina. Free plug for the Dodge Jeep Ram in Cornelius, North Carolina. For six months and not racing at all and not having enough money to go to the racetrack whatsoever. I feel that. <laughs> I, 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 I dealt with that for 20 years, man. 20 years. You know, I've always liked Stephen Light because, you know, it's just kind of the novelty of just having these drivers who go absolutely nowhere and we need more drivers like Stephen Light, dude. We need more people to run in the shitbox equipment so that all the rich kids can wreck the expensive cup level stuff. We need this kind of shit. It's like the F1.5 in NASCAR, it's the Xfinity series. I didn't have a lot of content for this video. The only reason I'm really making this is because he's back at it again. Jets quarterback Sam Darnold out indefinitely with mononucleosis. Richard Penny drove a 500 mile race with a broken neck. Dave, are you doing this on purpose? Do you watch my channel? Do you, are you giving me this material? He's just handing me material. Every single day. I didn't even, I wasn't even planning on making a good news this week, and even if I was, I wasn't gonna have a moody segment because he just hasn't been moody about anything lately. But good God, man, what are you doing? I went to school with someone who got mono in, in like eighth grade, I think, and they were out for a month. I was told that she was bedridden for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Mono causes dangerous swelling of the spleen where an impact can cause a rupture which could cause harm to internally bleed out in minutes and, you know, kill him. Come on, Dave, you're better than this. You had me until the last sentence. <laughs> no, in fact. No, in fact. My man is not better than this. He is such a grifter. I am constantly amazed at the number humorless people on social media. A neutron star forms when a star has passed away and explodes into supernova. Um, they tend to create black holes, or they tend to be black holes as well, but neutron stars actually, while being about the size of, I believe I was told that they're about the size of maybe the Diane, the, like the distance from California to like Washington DC, that's about the size of a neutron star, and yet it contains more mass. Five, it's, it's, it, I was told anywhere from eight to 20 times the mass of the sun in that small, compacted area. And even then, neutron stars are less dense than Dave Moody. I don't even know why I make this, I don't even know why I make videos. I don't even know why I make like racing game videos. I don't know why I play games. I could just read Dave Moody's Twitter and have content till next year. I don't even know why I bother. Thanks for watching yet another fantastic episode of, of Good News. By Thando Thev, do not give the top one-tenth of one percent any of your money, because Dave Moody is part of the one-tenth of one percent, and he does not deserve your money. One last thing before we call it a night. I do want to draw attention to this. Um, Brett Moffat will be carrying um, Griff Dog's uh, brother, Tate, on his number 24 truck at Phoenix. I wasn't going to draw attention to it because I really don't want internet points out of this. I just want to honor someone who's uh, someone in the NASCAR YouTube community who needs some support, like, majorly right now. So I wasn't even going to bring it up, but the thing is, is that Griff wants to go to the Phoenix race and actually see this truck in person. I don't blame him. But... As always, funds are an issue, so I don't know 
how we're going to go about this. I've already offered to help him out. And um, so what I'm thinking is that um, we're going to take um, every like that this video gets and that will be a dollar towards Griff Dog's trip if you'd like to support this um, effort, I suppose. You could probably contact Griff Dog, but if, I don't know how he's going to want to do it, but every, if you want to, I, I, I really feel bad because I feel like this is going to come off poorly. But if you donate to my PayPal link in the description of this video, every donation through PayPal that I get through this week, so what what day is it today? It's Thursday, so September 19th. Well, that's Burgers in the Park. Hell yeah, I love Burgers in the You have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so every donation through PayPal in the link in the description to me will through uh, the 19th of September I will pool together and we will take it to Griff Dog, as well as for every like that this video gets, that's another dollar towards the fund, we are going to send Griff Dog to Phoenix, just like we were going to send me to Chicago. We utterly failed in that endeavor, but, but, we will not fail in this endeavor. So, get to it, chop chop, get, get some likes going, get some likes going, come on, get some likes going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. I waited a long time, but my dad never came home last night. Too real. Too fucking real. Anyone know uh, Ron Thal, Bumblefoot? He has a song called Lost that I think would be great for the Mystic Forest Ruins. Jesus Christ, that was a soy boy mouth right there. Knuckles, you're not an attack helicopter. I'm an attack helicopter. Piece of shit. Oh no. Yeah, it's it's Yoko Ono, Knuckles. Yoko Ono. You got it. Whoa. Good job, buddy. Oh no, the emerald. Yeah, that. Oh no. Good job, Tails. Richard Penny drove a 500 mile. Thank you.